What's going on everybody? Matt with Lathrop Media. We are in Blender and again in this video and we're going to be playing with the screw function. Now if you are new to Blender, not a big deal. If you're not, well I should say if you're new to 3D modeling, not a big deal. If you're walking out of Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, whatever it is that you used to use, this function is or modifier is called something different in those software packages i.e. typically either Revolve or Lathe. Those are the two big names. Inside Blender, it's called Screw. Interesting. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here to my layout. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have my reference image in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my reference image to where uh, this plane here, my Y plane, is roughly bisecting the center line of this lampshade. I don't want to cross over. Uh, so for the sake of argument here, I'm going to be basically modeling the shape or the curvature, the outside curvature of this uh, lampshade on the left hand side of the Y plane. So I do not want to cross over to the right side of the Y plane. Uh, that'll become a little bit more easy to understand as I'm going. Uh, so now that I got this image position where I want come up here to add mesh plane come over right here to modeling make sure your vertex select is selected right click on your plane go down to merge vertices at center now go ahead hit Z in our little wheel or uh, whatever this gizmo is called um, move our point up here to roughly the top of this lampshade. I'm going to go ahead and hit E for extrude. Hit Y because I'm working in the Y axis. And drag it down to roughly the bottom of the same thing. Uh, so from here what I'm going to do is come up here to my edge select. Select that edge. Right click. Subdivide. And then I'm going to change this to something like say 10 cuts. We'll hit enter and then go back to our vertex select and as you can see we have little points out here that we can now use to model the outside or I should say to start or, or uh, what the hell basically we're going to draw this as a curve that's what we're doing here we're gonna revolve this and it's going to look a lot better than it does now not just a bunch of lines with little nodes on them drag that out uh, you may have to you know play with the count uh, of, of your subdivides um, it depends on the geometry of what you're playing with whether it be a bottle or a lampshade like this and it, it varies so now that we have all this out here we're gonna go ahead and hit a on the keyboard uh, come over to your modifier plane um, you know it doesn't matter if you're in transform or whatnot click on that little wrench drop down go to screw now as you can see it looks funky well it automatically defaults to the z-axis and that's not what we're playing with we're playing with the y-axis so we'll click that and you can see looks more like a lampshade already a little rough around the edges but it looks like it should so from here we're gonna make sure our smoothing groups are on uh, we could leave our steps and render steps alone you do have the ability to modify you know the actual screw function but since we're not using this as a screw we're using it as a revolve you could leave that number to zero Come down here add a subdivision surface it smooths it out a little bit gives it a nice you know flowing and yeah nice flow word is escaping me that i'm trying to use but it's okay and then we'll come up here and add modifier and then go to solidify and what solidify does is it gives it a little bit of thickness this is something that uh it's going to be extremely important whenever you're doing like bottles if you're doing like a wine bottle or a pop bottle or what have you so as you can see here you know we're adjusting the thickness 
Um, you can ignore the numerical values that I got going on here because none of this is the scale. But we'll say for the sake of argument, that looks right. And it kind of does. I mean, it's good enough for me. Uh, I would probably flatten that top out a little bit, but it is what it is. So from here, go back into our layout. Or actually, you don't have to. You just got to change the, uh, the edit mode to object mode. And then you can click apply on all these guys. Now you have your nice, wonderful, revolved lampshade. Name it. And save it. You are now good to go. Works with different objects. Yeah, you can model stuff out of cylinders and then pinch it and pull it and all that other good stuff. But when it comes to certain geometry, it's actually just easier to lathe it or to revolve it. Or in Blender's case, screw it. I know, that was a nice little pun. Um, that's about all I have. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. If this helped you at all, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and all that other stuff. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.